What's up guys this is Hardik here so today with me i have the fossil gen 4 and it is running on the latest os or the latest version of android os the os edge so today we'll be taking a look at it and also i'll be showing you guys all the new features and everything present in the update itself so without any further ado let's get started so first things first i'll quickly go into the settings i'll go down to system uh, to version or about then scroll down to version tap and as you can see here the system version is h and the security update uh, or the security patch is december 5 2018 and also if you scroll down on the build number you could see that the build number is pwdc which means that it is based off of android p so i'll quickly go through the uh, changes here the first change here is that the battery saver mode change is updated so it means that once your battery falls down to 10% it will extend your battery life even more than what it used to do before so if you enable the ba uh, battery saver hit yes uh, there we go and it says that it will enable it as you can see the battery saver is on and you'll only have the time and the date and nothing else so if you tap on the power button as you can see you have the time and the date and nothing else so to disable it just hit on the power button and hit yes exit the battery saver mode and it will be back to normal so there you go so this is the new battery saver mode and it promises to extend your battery life even more than what it used to do before so that is a good thing also it probably will disconnect uh, your watch from your Android or your iOS device, so yeah, just keep in mind. Also, it says that the off-body efficiency has been improved, uh, which which means that if you're not using your watch for more than thirty minutes, it will go into a deep sleep mode, uh, which will probably help or uh, conserve battery life. And the third thing here is a feature called a smart app resume. So if you are say in a in the Play Store, and uh, let's say if you're browsing for some apps. for streaming audio then if you go back and if or if you're on some other app let's say alarms and then if you go back again uh, in some another app let's say google fit and again go back and if you jump back to the play store it should be in the position that we left it on so on the apps there we go as you can see it is on the page that we left it on so that is the third feature that was uh, given in the update itself and the fourth feature is the most requested and the most liked uh, feature is basically you could just turn off your device with or by holding your power button or the center button so if you just hold it it will first access the google assistant but if you hold it again like if you keep on holding it it will give you the option to power off or restart so this is the most requested <laughs> thing that was present in the veros community is to give us a quick power off and restart option uh, so i do have a moto 360 here with me and if i just hold the button for a second it will just access the google assistant and no power button because it is still it is still running on the uh android 7. Point something so about and version and as you can see it is on android 7.1.1 still and this is now based off of android pi so it is android 9.0 so yeah i mean these were all the new features nothing else has changed uh, okay the thing i have noticed here is that the boot times has become faster so if you fresh boot it or if you reboot it will boot a bit faster also i have noticed is that the animations are a bit quicker uh, i mean you can you could like notice it after using it for a while not after installation but if you use it for a while like a day or so you'll probably notice the difference between the previous version and the OS H version so yeah again these two buttons are the same the down one is for google fit whereas the upper one is for you to create your own so there you go that's it Yeah and again all the pre-installed apps are the way it is and yeah i mean that is pretty much it this was the latest update and it will hit your fossil generation 4 in a week 
or a month i mean these updates are rolled out batch by batch so you'll get it probably in a month or so uh, before a month uh so yeah stay tuned and yeah the check for update button does not work for this update i've tried it so yeah just <laughs> fyi and again that's pretty much it uh thanks for watching this video if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in my next video